Today I'd like to talk about our building in downtown Washington and to remind you how this building itself delivers subtle and not so subtle messages about our mission. John Russell Pope, the architect who designed the Jefferson Memorial, also designed Day One. He designed it as a temple to American history, sited exactly halfway between the White House and Capitol Hill, placed it at an angle, made it higher than surrounding buildings, and circled it with a moat, all messages about the importance of our records. Four monumental statues were placed on either side of the two entrances of the building, each continuing that messaging to all who passed about who we are and what we do. I'm standing beside the statue representing the past, designed by Robert Aitken and chiseled by the Piccarelli Brothers of the Bronx who did the lions at the New York Public Library. An elderly bearded philosopher sits with a scroll in his hand and the closed book of history in his lap as he stares down the corridor of time. The quotation, study the past, is attributed to Confucius, who said, study the past if you would divine the future. The message reinforces the importance of learning our history and invites passers-by to enter this temple to American history.